Smash that like button, guys. This is going to be the last story of the night because there's not much news going on and my allergies are kicking my ass for some reason all of a sudden. Anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, so we got Takashi Kudabi. We got a little update there. Then we got Joe Budden had a slip up during a live uh, IG. Nipsey Hustle, baby mother. We got some updates on that. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. Please smash that like button. Appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Positive vibes only. You're going to have a positive week. I promise that. And let's get right into it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so let's start with uh, 6 9 and Kudabi. So Kudabi, uh, he obviously was the one who did the, the Chief Key thing in Manhattan. He's facing major charges on that. I mean, they recovered like sprite cans with his dna and everything at the time of the crime it's so crazy man his sentencing now has been pushed back to september and uh they're not gonna he, he had bail but they're gonna keep him now until he gets sentencing so he's not even gonna he's not gonna see the daylight for a while um he admitted to being the person who fired and worked out a deal they had surveillance photos and everything he had no chance um, he'll be in the BOP, Bureau of Prisons facility in New York City until he's sentenced. Recommended to receive between 46 and 57 months. That's a good amount of time, okay? But uh, he's still young. And that's not too bad con considering, you know, four to five years. Considering, like, he was in Manhattan, you know? And it was attempt you know, it was really an attempt killing. So, uh, anyways, he will not be released. Um, it's taking longer than we anticipated, it says, to locate and retrieve certain records concerning the defendant's personal history and characteristics, as well as certain financial records we believe relevant to the sentencing. So, we'll have to see what happens with that. Then we got, you know, let me switch the story. Joe Budden exposed himself, okay? Him and Sin broke up for the show. You never play with love. You never play relationship, especially when a kid's involved, just for money, okay? It's selling out, and I don't believe in that because, you know, when you play with fire, you could get burned, and Joe Budden's playing with fire. Y'all know Mona's a genius. Don't, don't sleep. So, I don't know. I don't believe in that kind of stuff, like playing with love and all that, but just for TV and money. I don't believe in that. I like Joe Budden a lot, but you just don't play with certain things, you know? Just like you don't play with death, you don't play a lot of things. Um, Nipsey Hussle's baby mother, I guess they're really trying to paint her as a unfit parent. Maybe she was all along and Nipsey Hussle was picking up the slack. I don't know. Um... I don't believe this should play out in the public the way it is. It really seems to be playing out long in the public, you know, like more pa paperwork. How is this all public? So anyways, she's always been a presence in Imani's life and along with the rest of Imani's parents have been assisted in her care. So everyone's really just helped her, but she's not a good parent by herself, I guess. I think she also, also has some pending lawsuits against them and everything to get some money at I don't know, man. I mean, it gets too messy. Uh, hopefully, it all gets cleaned up because uh, I know everybody's still grieving over there. It's just sad. Anyways, guys, I love you guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button. I love you guys. Positive vibes, and I'll check you guys in the next video.